So thank you again for tuning in to the Chris Chris Show. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate you for that. So if you've been watching my videos, I've been paying attention to my analytics, and a lot of you have been watching my videos, but you're not subscribed. So at this time, if you could take a quick look, see if you're subscribed, and if not, you can subscribe and turn on the notification bell for all my videos, so you can like and participate in the comment section. As you know, of Chris Chris, I'm gonna give you the news whenever the news is there. The news that we're gonna be talking about today, Kim and Kanye have finally broken up after over seven years of marriage. They've had over four kids together. They appear on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. These people are always in the news, or always drama, whether it's Kanye's going on the rant, Kim's posting a picture that get people feeling a type of way. These people have always been in our lives since they've become a couple. And it's finally came to an end. I'm not a person that's really into celebrity dating. I don't really care about it. I know who's dating who, but I'm not reading up on it. I'm not reading the love stories. I'm not seeing what they're doing on dates. I do not care. They have millions. They can treat someone better than how I would treat the average person. Of course, you know, they're millionaires. Either way, I had to make a report about it. As you know, like I said, they're probably the biggest celebrity couple in the world. So them calling it quits after seven years is a big deal. But I do want to say, I feel like going into it, they both got what they wanted out of the relationship. Kim clearly has a black man fetish and she wanted to have black babies. She was able to get that with Kanye and have four of them. Kanye loves attention. He loves publicity. Dating a Kardashian is the ultimate and perfect thing for that. So he was able to elevate his brand. Kim was able to elevate her brand and being able to implement, being able to have mixed kids and being able to fulfill her black fetish and all of that. Kanye was able to continue, build up his clothes. He was able to build up his shoes. He was able to build himself up to where he is financially. Yes, he was broke for a little bit, but he was married to a Kardashian house. Are you going to get bailed out? So I feel like they're married marriage it fulfilled what they wanted Kanye got the attention Kim got the kids Kanye started to be a little bit more on edge Kanye's always been a person that's on edge but when he's not on his meds he goes on these Twitter rants and he says whatever he wants to say he tries to run for president she's like you know what I got the babies from you I do not have to deal with your bullshit shenanigans anymore so that's why she's calling it quits and people are talking about oh will Kim be able to find a new man that she has four kids um she's worth how much money niggas are gonna look past that of course and she has a fat ass niggas are definitely gonna look past it that's just how it is kim ain't gonna have no problem dating kanye ain't gonna have no problem dating when you're millionaires people are gonna look past that shit when you someone that's making forty thousand and you have two or three kids of course niggas is gonna be like is that a commitment i'm trying to make is that someone i want to have in my life you know but kim and kanye they ain't got nothing to worry about so I, I wanted to give you guys an update about their whole marriage breaking off i feel it was beneficial to them both in the end Kim gets her babies. Kanye got the attention and a little bit more publicity and money. And now they get to go their separate ways and do what they want to do. Kanye keeps on doing whatever he wants to do when he wants to do it. Kanye is one of those people. He wants to start a church. He starts a church. He wants to start a clothing line. He starts a clothing line. He wants to run for president. He wants to run for president. He does what he says he's going to do. So we'll pay attention to see what Kanye does going forward. Of course, we're going to see what Kim Kardashian does because she's always in the news and media. I want to hear your guys' thoughts as well. Are you a person that's endowed in the celebrity relationships? Are you someone that does not care? Are you someone that you care because it's Kanye and Kim Kardashian? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you agree with me that the marriage was beneficial for both? Do you think they actually genuinely loved each other for all these years? Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna try and validate whether someone loved someone or someone didn't. I'll let you guys do that for, but I do think this was a beneficial relationship. Yes, there could have been feelings tied, but they both had their agendas going into it so as you know of chris chris i'm going to give you the news whenever the news is there whether that's today tomorrow a week or two from now so i need to make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell for all my videos you like and participate in the comment section this chris chris i'm out this motherfucker